Hi, my name's Mick from Summit Mountain Skills and I'm going to run through how I tie in with my rope into my climbing harness. Lots of different ways of doing this. I tend to use a knot called a re-threaded figure of eight and I back that up with a stopper knot. First thing I need to do is to have a system where I can measure out a point where I want to start my knot from. For me, I pinch the end of my rope Hold my arm at 90 degrees, pull the rope nice and tight, and I know from my height, if I pinch at groin level, that's where I need to start my knot from. At that point there is where I put my first part of my re-threaded figure of eight. Next thing I need to do is to pop this into my harness. And some people will thread downways, some people will thread up the ways. It doesn't matter. What is important is that I capture both structural parts of the harness. If you're not sure where that is with your harness, then check the harness manufacturer's instructions and that will show you where you need to tie into. I thread up, so I'm going to pop in up through my bottom loop first. And then I use my finger and thumb as a guide. So I'll just bring that up through there and you can see that I've captured both parts of the harness. It's the two places where the belay loop actually runs through and you can see that that mirrors that. When I tie in this rope loop, I want to mirror the same size as best as I can of this tie-in belay loop. What I'm going to do now is re-thread this end to follow the exact same track as that until I pop back up through there. I'm taking my time when I do that. And at this point, I've got an opportunity to adjust the size of this loop. If anything, I make this loop at this point slightly smaller because when I tighten the knot, it will grow. So it's slightly small at the moment. Being careful to thread that round exactly the same. And as you can see, it pops up through there. Before I tighten the knot, I'm gonna make sure that Nothing's crossed and the reason for that is is that I can see visually then that the knot's tied correctly. You'll often refer that as um, being dressed, we've dressed the knot. So that's what folks mean when they say that. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to pull all four strands of the knot really tightly. And you can see looking down through there that there's very little gaps, which means that the knot is nice and tight. Just before I pop the stopper knot on, as you can see, that mirrors the size of that pretty accurately. All that remains now is just to pop the stopper knot on to my figure of eight. I do a double stopper knot. The important thing is, is this stopper knot butts right up to my figure of eight and again I pull that nice and tight you can see it's touching and you can see I've got a little end sticking out so it won't pop through all that remains now is for myself and my climbing partner to do a buddy check so I will check their knot and harness so I'm checking that the harness has been put on correctly the leg loops aren't twisted and the buckle is threaded appropriately and then I'll also check the knot is tied correctly and is in the correct places once we've both done that, we're safe to climb. 